The Health Minister, Dr. Joe Pasa, visited Mpumalanga to monitor the province's vaccine rollout. Dr. Pasa has raised concern over what he says is misinformation about COVID-19. Now for an update on Mpumalanga's vaccine rollout and its response to COVID-19, I'm joined by Mpumalanga Health MEC, that's Sasekani Manzini. MEC Manzini, a pleasure to have you on the program this afternoon. Now, the minister, alongside other officials, including yourself, visited several vaccination centers across the province. How would you say the call for people to get vaccinated is being received there? Afternoon to you, Ntadla, and the viewers at home. Uh, indeed, in terms of uh, our vaccination rollout in the province, we can say that uh, for now we are at 499,465, which is 16.37% of the population of the province. Of course, we are concerned about the numbers. Hence, we welcomed the introducing of the age uh, 18 years uh, and above, so that at least we know that when we go to all the sites that we have opened, almost everyone can be vaccinated. So as a province, we have done uh, everything in terms of opening sites in the villages so that people that don't have to go mm. and travel long distance, even where the minister we, uh, was in Bumalanga in terms of monitoring of the vaccine, he was in the deep rural of Ngomas where the people are. So we are continuously trying. We have seen even the premier uh, leading us to the mines, to the farms, so that we go wherever people are. So I think this program is going to assist us moving forward and also the 18 years with the slogan that uh, when these young people are going to vaccinate, they must take their mothers, their fathers, grandmothers, mm -hmm. and grandfathers, so that even the community members, so that we increase in terms of uh, more people being vaccinated in the province. Now, MEC Manzini, of concern is that uh, the minister also raised uh, the issue of misinformation around the vaccination rollout and vaccines in particular. Uh, what have you noted in this regard? Uh, that is correct. For example, in Komazi, where I was, I remember one time when I was, I, I took a program there, there was a family where uh, people said they died because of vaccine. So mm. from time to time, we are trying to educate our people in terms of saying, uh, in terms of our record, we don't have any case or any person that died because of uh, a, a vaccine. I remember also in one family uh, around Bush Park Ridge where they were saying that uh, the person died of uh, uh, of vaccine and when we checked the family in fact that person did not even vaccinate but the news travel very fast that mm. to say that person died because of vaccine so we are trying to bring everyone on board to say let us be ambassadors try to preach the the, the, the positive message of the vaccine uh, we are also on the media we put doctors there especially so that they assist us in terms of talking about what is the the benefit of being vaccinated why people must must vaccinate so that we, we, we understand and have the correct information as far as the vaccine is concerned. So you're correct. That's what I remember. I went to one uh, taxi rank where one taxi uh, uh, driver was saying, I'm not going to vaccinate because we don't have a rule. So there's a lot of things that people, they don't take this thing of vaccinating very serious. They think that uh, they are doing it for somebody else. So, but we are continuously, that's why we're going wherever they are, try to educate them, spend time with them, and make sure that they eventually they understand and they take the vaccine. Now, MEC, I do note uh, the work that's been done by uh, your administration to try and ensure that residents get the correct information. But are you really convinced that this information is landing properly uh, to the intended recipients? Yes. We, we, hence, I'm saying when we go in, in terms of outreach and programs, and also we, we target different sectors, for mm. example, the traditional leaders, uh, we, I had a meeting with them, all of them, and they even, after explaining and trying to convince them, you'll be surprised that even the chairperson said, he said himself in one function that it was difficult for him to go and vaccinate. Mm. But after I spent time and convinced him, he eventually went and vaccinated. So you can understand that there's a lot of myths out there, and people believe those things, And uh, uh, but eventually they open their offices. We are also vaccinating in the traditional offices uh, uh, where they also call their people to come and vaccinate. So it's, we still have a long way to go in terms of trying to explain uh, that people need to vaccinate so that we can uh, have a uh, health immunity and then we can go back to normal in terms of our operation of opening the economy. But it is a tough one. But we are, we are, we are going to make sure that as we pull, uh, I'm going to have a meeting also mm -hmm. with religious leaders who are going to assist us in that regard. So in different minds, they are assisting us, farms, they are assisting us. So we will try and make sure that everyone get the correct message from wherever you are. 
in terms of how the benefit of vaccinating for each and every one of us. Now, MEC, before I let you go, I also want to speak about the availability of these vaccines. Uh, in your own assessment, would you say that there is adequate vaccine stocks of both the Johnson & Johnson as well as the Pfizer vaccines for the people of Mpumalanga? Yes, yes, I can confirm that in the province we have enough vaccine. What we need is people to come and vaccinate. We have enough vaccine, we have got enough sites open, mm. even we have opened our clinics, we have opened our hospitals. We are going to the tax rank malls and everywhere we do have the vaccine, we have got the staff for people to make sure that they vaccinate people in the province. We don't have a challenge. And how do we get these vaccines to the people in remote areas? You spoke earlier on about the health uh, minister having visited uh, areas like Nkomas and other uh, remote areas within Pumalanga. Uh, what are you doing to ensure that these vaccines get to the people? Pumalanga is the rural province, so mm -hmm. there's no way we can go except go to the rural areas. That's mm -hmm. where we are. We, we, we go to the villages. In, I, I know that in one village, we went there more than four times. Uh, we, we, we have been there because that's the only area where we can go as far as Pumalanga is concerned. So in terms of making sure that we are closer to the people, we don't want people to say, I did not have money to go and vaccinate. Hence, we even go to the tax rank. When you go to town, you find us there. When you go to the mall, we are, we are there. We make it convenience for our people to be able to vaccinate. So well, the, our, our target is that let's go where people are so that the issue of resources in terms of them accessing the vaccine does not arise because we are where they are. They just walk into our facilities and get vaccinated. Now, Premier Mtsweni Tsipani has also said that the province has a COVID-19 strategy. Are you at liberty to give us a bit more detail as to what the strategy entails? Yes, of course. The strategy, uh, the Premier has always said um, it's about uh, behavioural change mm. and making sure that we work with our key stakeholders, hence the launch of the word base model where we put all the traditional leaders, business people, uh, any kind of sector at that level, mining sector, uh, it, as far as the mining town that we are having. And of course, further than that, we launch a clinic-based model so that those people that have got your comorbidities must continuously get their services in the, our clinics and all that. So of course, in terms of uh, the package of the premier, she looks at whether people in terms of the social relief and all that. So we do have that plan that will make sure that from time to time, people are reminded, are educated, people are becoming ambassadors of making sure that people understand the importance of, of preventing themselves from being infected by COVID-19 and also preventing other people by not infecting them, knowing or not knowing about their, their, their COVID-19 status. So yes, that's what the Honorable Premier is mm. preaching and championing in the province in terms of making sure that we, if we work together, that's how we can be able to manage COVID-19 as a province and as a country. MEC Manzini, thank you very much for your time. That's a Health MEC Sasekani Manzini speaking to us about the Mpumalanga province's vaccine rollout and also speaking to us about how they are planning to get uh, these vaccines even to people in remote areas.